Let's do a quick video on how I have my buffer tank plumbed into my truck. So I have my supply line reels here and I have these quick connects on each section of hose. What I'll do is I'll pull off what I need, go to the house, and then plug the other end in right here. That goes in up through the floor. Which I also have my shore power hooked up here. Back. And then in through here, coming up through the floor, through a filter, and into the tank through a high flow shutoff valve that Job makes that you can get on Amazon. As you see, it's harder to see. It allows more water to flow into the tank than the Hudson float valves. Uh, I believe it's a little bit faster. The reason why I do not plumb my reel or I'm not plumbing my reel to the buffer tank directly that's how my trailer is set up. I'll probably change that this year. But the reason why is because when I'm when I'm running this eight gallon a minute machine, 95% of the time I have no issues waiting on water. However, there have been some jobs where I was running out of water and I don't like that. I don't like waiting for water. There's one particular house that I do every year. I'm always waiting on water there. I think one of the problems is that the flexzilla hose on the reel collapses on itself when you reel it up which in my mind is restricting the flow it's also going through a smaller diameter through the reel it's got to go through that half inch reel i think that's slowing it down as well i also think that the less hose it has to travel through the faster it's going to fill your tank i could be completely wrong on all of these things if you're like a physics major or some kind of an engineer who's smarter than me you're probably going to come on here and tell me that i'm an idiot um and i'm only saving a few seconds but i don't care in my mind i want to be doing every single thing i can do to maximize the amount of water flowing into this tank at any given time so that i'm never waiting on water with that eight gallon a minute machine i have a 330 gallon tote which i should be able to travel with full with this truck so we'll see but that's how i have my buffer tank set up 